Welcome back to the 30 day challenge. This video, I wanted to talk about five setups for late fall crappie. I did a video about setups, early fall crappie. Um, we're starting to get in the transition phase up north. Our crappie, or our crappie are starting to hold tighter to brush piles because we're getting a lot of cold fronts. Um, I think I woke up this morning, it was like 47 degrees. So fall is definitely getting here up north. For those of you down south, it will get there in October and definitely November. So these five rigs, five setups, five lures uh, are gonna help you catch the fish this fall. Number one, once these crappie get stacked up on that hard to soft bottom transition line, any type of reaction strike bait like this, now this one is actually made by Lucky John, but let's see if we can get it here. But any jigging wrap, puppet minnow, these style baits, which are reactionary, once these crappie get schooled up real tight on that hard to soft bottom transition, this is a great lure, vertical jig approach. You don't even need live scope. Just get over the top of them when they're in about 20, 25 feet of water. Uh, use your 2D sonar, just rip it right through their, through their school and they, they hit it like crazy. Another reaction bite that's more of a, you can fish it vertically, but you can also fish it by casting it out and kind of yo-yoing it back to the boat. That is the Euro Tackle Z Viber. It's a lipless crankbait. This is a 1 8 ounce bluegill pattern. This pattern actually works really well on our lakes up north. Um, I know they also make a perch pattern and a fire tiger and like a, a, I think they call it an abu glow or something like that. It's like a white glow pattern. Works great. Um, Again, it's more of a vertical jig approach. We're fishing deeper water in that later part of the fall. Our water temps up north are probably gonna be 50s to 60s, um, and probably, well, all the way till ice out basically is what we're gonna be fishing these baits. These are two lures that I'm gonna use into the late fall, and once these crappie get stacked up in that deep water, they're gonna work really well. Another setup that's, you know what, I could say this setup for pretty much any season. Uh, the only thing I'd adjust for spring season is just make it a fixed bobber because you're fishing in like two to three feet of water when those crappie are shallow. But when you're fishing for crappie, a uh, slip bobber set up with live minnows, you just can't beat it. You can't beat it. Uh, if the bite is not working with these reactionary baits, slip bobber, live minnow rig, and it just, it works. Put that minnow, let it soak in front of the crappie's face, good to go. Another setup that I've actually done a video on already in this 30 day challenge is the double jig setup. Great setup to fish not only two different baits, to make sure your state regulations allow this, but uh, you put two different either colors or bait profiles in front of crappie, try to figure out which one they're biting, but you can fish this jig setup in deep water and you can fish it fast. Um, so you can either pitch it away from the boat, let it drift back from like a drift over the top of a brush pile or something, or you can vertical jig it Again, you don't even need live scope or anything like that. 2D sonar. We're getting to that part of this, the season late into the fall. These water temps are starting to get cold. Crappie are pushing out deep. Um, that's where these baits are super effective. The last one is actually the drop shot. I don't have a tight on right now, but uh, I would probably tie the drop shot on either the eight foot rod or, can we do this without breaking anything? Either the seven and a half foot uh, ACC setups. Um, I'd probably have an eight footer for the slip bobber and then make the seven and a half foot a drop shot. What happens on our clear lakes up north, our crappies transition out in that hard to soft bottom area of the lake. And they'll actually just be suspended sometimes five, six feet off the bottom. So throwing a drop shot uh, that actually has the bait four or five feet above where your drop shot weight is can be super effective for a lot of these crappie. Now you get a cold front, you might wanna lower that bait, not quite like you're fishing for bass, um, but keep that bait two to three feet above your drop shot weight. Um, we're not bass fishing. You don't want that, that lure, that plastic that you're using, you know, six inches or a foot above your drop shot weight. You want it up in the water column. Um, get these fish able to see it because crappies like to feed up. Um, and during cold fronts, they'll sink way low in the water column, but they still want to feed upward. So keep that, when you're using a drop shot, keep that bait up in the water column. Keep it three to five feet above your weight. So again, these are lures I'm gonna use during colder water temps, something between let's say 65 degrees all the way down to for us up north when the water freezes up. And some of these lures I'm actually gonna use during ice fishing season. Typically what happens on our natural lakes, again, they, they just school up so well in that deeper water, um, whether it's on that harder soft bottom transition or if you get them way late into the fall, like late November, they'll actually push out into the basins. 
And so these lures, you can fish deep, you can fish fast for the most part, all but except for maybe that slip bobber rig, that's more of a finesse style bait or finesse style setup. Um, but the jigging wraps, the lipless crankbait, double jig setup, the drop shot, you can probably fish it fairly quickly. Um, all ways to cover deep water fast in the fall and put a ton of crappie in the boat. So appreciate you watching. If you have a lure that you love to use during the late fall, like a cold water period, uh, post it in the comment section below. Let people know what you like to use. And if you got any comments or questions for me, you can either post them in the comment section below or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. Good luck on the water this season and uh, hope you're enjoying the 30 day challenge. Stay tuned for the next one.